fragrance people welcome back into the fragrance show and on today's video i do believe i have discovered a nice alternative to blue de chanel the perfume concentration and today we have from mason alhambra it's called matre de blue matre de blue all right try to hold that up in the light for you guys all right stay tuned it's the fragrance show guys welcome back into the channel and on today's video like i said we're talking my trade the blue and don't worry if you cannot see the writing on this bottle it is a darker uh gradient <clears throat> i will put the title up on the screen for this guy right here but nevertheless like i said to me this is a blue de chanel perfume concentration now blue de chanel perfume comes off a little bit different than his first two uh creations a little bit more richer it's denser to me it has a slight incense and a slight nutty uh uh nuance going on with it as well but nevertheless I picked this bottle up off of Triple Traders. Going to link it down in the description for you guys. I do believe right now it's going for roughly around $24.99. Presentation, a light blue bottle. Actually, not light. It's actually kind of dark, guys, because I'm trying to get some nice light on it, and it's just not working. Now, I did pick up a Blue de Chanel clone, and that might be from Mason Alhamra as well, and that's called Blue de Chance. To me, that's more so of the EDP concentration. And it kind of missed the mark on what it's trying to do, but this one definitely comes super close to the perfume concentration. Reason being for me, when I say perfume concentration, because when I first sprayed this, I said, oh, they, if they're trying to clone the EDP concentration, they have totally missed the mark on what they was trying to do. But then I said, wait a minute, I had to go back because I actually owned the perfume concentration and I remember wearing that to my son's first birthday party. Um, but nevertheless, let's get the note breakdown up on this one. I am going to spray it. I did wear this on my skin. Atomizer is pretty decent, guys. Let's we'll say when I first spray this fragrance, you're going to get hit with lemon. They say grapefruit is up top, but to me, grapefruit is playing the background when it comes down to this creation right here. So you're going to get hit with lemon off the top. It does start out fresh. It does start out going to remind you of the Blue de Chanel DNA, but if you're going to match it to the EDT or EDP, you're going to say like, yo, this doesn't smell nothing like that. So top notes, grapefruit, lemon. You have a minty accord in this one. You also have pink pepper. Uh, you have in the mid, you have ginger, nutmeg, jasmine, and some iso e super. And then the base, you have incense. Like I said, Blue de Chanel perfume has incense in it. It's a little bit more darker. It's not so bright as like the EDT and the Odar perfume concentration. It's not so fresh, but the DNA is still there because it is a flanker. Uh, you have patchouli, lavender, and white musk, vetiver, vetiver, and cedar. So you have some wood nuances going on. And Blue de Chanel, it is a woody fragrance. But with this one right here, I like how they did this one. Like I said, Right off the top, the opening, I, I said, I thought I might have sprayed it on my skin where I had something at because I'm like, yo, this, this is not smelling like Blue Day Chanel. But sometimes, and even me, sometimes I even forget that it, there is a third installment to Blue Day Chanel because we're so used to using the EDP and a lot of folks, they use the, yeah, a lot of folks use the EDP. They don't even reach for the perfume concentration because maybe you know, it's staring too much in a different direction. I like this fragrance. It's $24. It can be serviceable, definitely for spring and for summer. And it has versatility. You can wear it in the day, you can wear it in the nighttime. Like I said, this fragrance right here, Matcha D, D Blue, will only be for the fans of the perfume, the third installment. So please don't go out and buy this thinking you're getting the Blue de Chanel EDT or Oda Perfume Concentration Clone. This is not that. This is the third installment. I like it. It's richer. It's deeper. It holds on to the DNA of Blue Day Chanel. But this one smells a little bit more on the Big Brother kind of side for me. And if you want to save easily, easily, because I don't know if the perfume is on discounters, but if you want to save easily over $150, 
you can go on triple traders and you can give this one a shot just go into it with an open mind don't go into it like i said to me it's not a one-to-one -one. if i had to put a percentage on it on how close it's coming to the road thing i will say about 85 to 90 percent now like our seasons like i said spring summer you're going inside an office in the fall time you could put this one on in the climate control area and you will smell nice this does have the compliment factor just like blue day chanel it's one of the top selling men's fragrances probably of all time steep still people still buy the real thing and you can go out and buy the real thing but on this channel we try to save money and still smell nice at the same time i do feel like i have completed the trifecta of owning some blue de chanel dupes i actually have an excellent one from the house of alt called blue going to be reviewing that one soon but Mache d blue I think they tried to I really think they tried to capture the perfume concentration because like I said to me it doesn't smell like the first one or the second one to me the lemon and the mint and then the base incense come through and that's what you're getting from this one along with cedar wood vetiver because it is a woody fragrance at the end of the day now performance for me this one is a room filler believe it or not performance for me all my skin and clothes are roughly around six and a half hours that's good for me to some folks they might say like yo that's weak hey it's your preference six and a half hours for me projection was good for like an hour 15 minutes hour 20 minutes then it started to dial itself back but trust me if you first spray this on and people get inside that window like i just said to y'all six and a half hours on a nice spring or summer day they're going to smell you and this does warrant uh, you know, this does have the compliment factor in my opinion for being $24. I think it's a warrant of purchase as well. All right, guys. Thanks for watching another video with the fragrance show, man. Hopefully I covered all you guys questions and concerns. If not, you can always ask me down in the comment section and I always respond to all the comments. All right. If you need more content, click on that video header up above. If you want to like and subscribe to the channel. You can go ahead and do that as well. And I'll catch you guys in our next video. Peace. Salute.